All right, Coach, uh, thoughts on, on your play from last week and, and what, what you guys are doing to get ready for conference this week? Well, I think we came off a, a good week. Um, didn't concede any goals. Uh, we had a very tough game against UTSA on Sunday, very bad weather, you know, 22 degrees during kickoff, uh, nine degree wind chill. It was, it was very, very tough conditions. Um, I thought we, we played quite well. You know, we, we, we sat in a medium block, defended uh, for long periods of time, but that was a plan going in. Um, I felt we were in control of the game without, um, without actually having the ball that much. You know, we didn't have the bulk of possession. So I was quite, quite pleased of, um, of how we played and, um, you know, hopefully we'll continue on for conference. Go ahead, Ray, for coach. Hey, coach. Uh, good afternoon. I just got to ask you on, on that note, be, uh, playing on that defensive block. That's just some, that's just been the theme of, of your season. Is that something you just uh, talk to your team during uh, preseason, just playing on that organized defensive block? I mean, we, we tried to play one way at home and, and one way on the road. Um, we've only had one home game and, and obviously we were very offensive, you know, created many opportunities, um, played very expansive soccer. I felt um, on the road, I think we try to be a little more defensive, sit in a little deeper, um, force teams to find solutions against us. And, um, you know, if you look at the UTSA game, they could not find a solution against us. Um, they were very one dimensional. We knew that coming in. Um, and uh, ultimately we came over with a result. Now, being that that you guys are home now to Seattle, uh, obviously the the weather forecast isn't uh, going to be favorable as far as uh, as far as like conditions go. Uh, what have you been telling your team this this week uh, to kind of like try to get the result here at home? Well, obviously, you know, we talk about Seattle and, and Utah. They're the untouchables of our conference. I mean, they are teams that have history of winning, um, history of success. Um, and any time we, we, uh, we can have success against these teams, it's, it's, a, it's a massive achievement. Uh, uh, look at us, Seattle specifically. Uh, you know, they have not beaten us in 2017. They did not beat us in 2018. Uh, they did beat us yet last year, uh, you know, 2-1 in the, in the regular season. I'm talking about just regular season games. So we've had some better results against them, but they are a team of top quality players, um, top quality coaching uh, with a history of, of, of winning. Uh, the weather is no concern. It will not be as bad as it was on Sunday in San Antonio. Um, you know, they are what they are, regardless of where we're playing and whatever the, the weather is going to be. It's going to be a massive challenge. Now, Emily Sabata being a, one of the offensive leaders on this team, how has she been one of those uh, proactive leaders in trying to just lead the forefront in scoring, uh, despite that there's been other people that have been getting on the score sheet like Gina Steiner? And and correct me if I'm mistaken on the pronunciation, Anna uh, Grodem? Uh-huh. Of course, if we look at the last two games, Emily Zapata has featured only half hour in two games. Um, she's been plagued with injuries. Um, so at this point, players have to step up uh, and we've been able to, to get goals from other, other, other players. Um, so it's a challenge, but, um, you know, our team, that team is good enough to be able to uh, withstand a loss of uh, any player right now. And the last one for me, what do you want to see your team just in, improve upon for uh, this for this upcoming uh, WAC weekend now that it becomes a little bit more uh, more of a challenge now, now that these are conference games? Right. I mean, obviously, we like to to score more of the chances that we create. Um, last home game, as, as you remember, we, we created quite a number of chances against Corpus Christi. We didn't we didn't score. Um, but we're quite pleased with the performance overall. Um, you know, in the end, though, we haven't conceded a goal in three matches, I believe, and, and that's what's going to win you games long term. So, um, you know, obviously we like to score more goals, but as long as we're not conceding goals, uh, we always give our chance to win each game. Anything else? No, sir. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.